Okay, so today I'm going to show you something a little bit different. I'm going to be playing through my emerald, emerald guitar. This is a gorgeous instrument that comes from Ireland. It's made of carbon fiber. It has two different pickups on it. This is a, a, a Graftech Ghost. It actually has PZO crystals under each of the strings. And then it also has um, a pickup that's a humbucker. It's made by Crevo. And it just sounds gorgeous. Okay, so, and then down here I have, I'm um, actually what I wanted to do, the main reason for this video is I wanted to compare uh, two different um, polyphonic uh, pedals. And um, I have one from Boss and one from Electra Harmonix. But I do have it going through the orange um, acoustic pedal, which is a preamp, and it's going out to my Bose S1, uh, which today I have it plugged in. Usually I have it by, on battery, but uh, the battery is getting low, so you'll see a cord going out to that. Okay, so let me just start by saying that as far as this particular pedal right here, the orange, um, I really like this pedal because you can shape your sound. It has all kinds of ability to dial out any kind of feedback. You have a phase. It works really well. Of course, you have the, your major structures, bass, uh, tre treble, mids. Um, you have uh, ways of modifying your frequencies uh, uh, using notch and the, the Q factor. And of course, the volume. What I don't like about this pedal, the main reason is that it's using an 18 volt, which makes it difficult to chain it in with a number of pedals um, I, I even tried hooking it up on my pedal using um, a power pack and it, there was no place to plug it in. You had to plug it in separate, so you ended up with two different cords coming off your pedal. It's minor, but it's something I just don't like. Um, I, I like to keep it as simple and clean as possible. I play in church and there's cords everywhere, but I just don't need one more cord. So... Um, Given that, it also doesn't take a battery, so so you're stuck with that extra cord. The other thing that I've heard a lot of people complain about, and I understand why, is that this uh, all the writing is in orange, and it's you can't see it. Basically, you look down, you better have it memorized. That isn't, you know, not that I can't just get a black pen and and mark it in myself, but uh, I haven't done that. I think it would look pretty crazy. So. <laughs> I like the way it looks. So those are minor, really, as far as the pedal is concerned. It works awesome. And at the price, I think I paid like $125, $130 for it. And you can buy these used a lot cheaper than that. And they just do a great job for DI and preamp. So um, what I wanted to show you, though, was these two different octave pedals. Um, I have one from Boss here, this is the OC5, and I have the other Electro Harmonix, the Nano. Now I know it's kind of apples and oranges because the OC5 has a lot more controls, but I basically just wanted you to hear the sound. I'm not an expert about sound um, in terms of, of how it works, but I do feel very confident in what I hear. And that's what I'm going by. So I, I wanted to also say that if you were to buy this pedal today, this POG, you're going to pay $230. If you buy it new, if you go out to Sweetwater or, or Musician's Friend. Um, and if you go out to the same places and buy the Octave, um, you, you can get these pedals for like $150. So these are actually cheaper. But let, let's listen to the sound and hear the difference. Okay, we're going to start with the pog. Did you hear what it did? Okay, I'm going to turn the sound up a little bit so you can hear it. And I'm going to dial this up. Basically, what this has is two different octaves. You have, you have an octave below and a full octave above. 
and it gives you this polyphonic or chord-like sound, um, giving these octaves. And, you, and let me just let you hear it again. Okay, I'm gonna increase the volume. Basically what the dry does is it increases the volume that's coming in from the input. Let's just dial this in. so much to get that high end but to bring that high end down get the sub optic going and what it does is it gives a nice big lush sound okay so let's turn that one off let's let you hear the octave this pedal has the ability to use a vintage tone, which is actually just single notes, or you can put it uh, on the polyphonic, which gives you more chord-like, which is similar to the electroharmonic. So I'm going to put it on the polyphonic side. And let's just hear what that sounds like. I'm just going to put everything 12 o'clock up. Okay. Listen to this one. So I find that the octave actually has a deeper, deeper sound to it, more lush, uh, more depth to the sound. So let me just make a few adjustments here. And again, I'm, I'm going to turn down. I'm, well, let me start turning the, the octave up. This is with nothing. And what I really like to play this one at is again bring down the high end of things. Make the low at about 12 o'clock.
was my opinion. I would think that it'd be better just to pay the lower price by the boss. Um, it has a lot more ability to uh, carve out the sound you want in terms of, of the controls. Um, um, it's cheaper and I think it sounds sounds better. I mean, it's not that the Pog Electro Harmonix doesn't sound good, it does. Um, and perhaps it's a matter of taste, uh, but I think um, I would, I would uh, like using the Boss more. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, I hope, uh, hope it makes sense to you. So again, this uh, old lady here gives my last word of wisdom. Just keep it simple.